over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, oh, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Quiet, quiet. So much for a milk run. How did a bunch of convicts even do this? Like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Daniels Inc. here with another Spider-Man episode. We are down to the final three. Hacking app should work. Uh, I actually just finished editing the the end of the series, so yeah. Um, but funny enough, well, I, I finally took the time to watch Into the Spider-Verse, and today me and my wife saw uh, Far From Home. So, I'm kind of on a big Spider-Man kick right now. No um, antibiotics. Yeah. So anyway, um, obviously I'm not going to spo spoil Far From Home or anything. I mean, it's not like anyone would know if I did, but... I'm just gonna leave it alone. Um, I liked Far From Home. I didn't like as much as Homecoming, uh, but I, I did like it. It had... It was hit or miss for me. Um, that's about all I'm gonna say. Some of it was really good, some of it was kinda eh. But it, it definitely was hard to follow Endgame, so there's that. But, uh... With that said, I did watch also Into the Spider-Verse, which is very convenient that I'm mentioning it, because we're now playing as Miles Morales, who is the main character of Far, of, uh, Far From... <laughs> Into the Spider-Verse. Um, Into the Spider-Verse was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I, I don't necessarily see why it got all the appreciation it did, because, uh, like, every review that I saw for it, called it, like, one of the greatest, like, Marvel movies ever. I wouldn't go that far. It was okay. Um, it, it definitely, I, I guess it depends on your tastes, really. I mean, for me, like, there are some that was just a little too weird for me, like Peter Porker, and, yeah, I mean, I always find it kind of annoying, if you will, that when they try to add something that's one art style into a different art style, but keep the art styles the same. So, the fact that Peter Porker was a cartoon, and then they tried to fit him into, like... I mean, it was a cartoon, but he was, like, a classic, like, Looney Tune style cartoon. Hi, Rhino! Um, and... The rest of the movie was done in almost like a cel-shaded comic booky style, so it was weird. But found the exploding bulldozer. <laughs> Supply loops and schedules. No! Yes, Kazal! Gentlemen. I apologize. My associate is inelegant. Is that a word? He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! You did not need to see that. Oh. 
classic gag. I sure didn't hit it out of death there, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, and the Spider-Verse was good, Far From Home was good. I definitely think that Far From Home didn't live up to the hype and the end of the Spider-Verse was a little overhyped. But that's all I'm really going to say about those two, so we can focus more on the task at hand, which is this game. Um, which I think still is the best Spider-Man medium to date. It's, it was better, this game to me was better than anything Spider-Man ever. Like, I, this literally was the best Spider-Man experience in media, period. Besides maybe the comic books, but I don't know. I even like this one in some of the comic books, to be fair, so. Uh, but yeah, so, for those of you wondering, it is, well, now it's 1 o'clock in the morning. I think it's July 7th now? Uh, it's 2 o'clock in the morning on July 7th. Um, couldn't sleep, so decided I'd record some Spider-Man and edit some Spider-Man episodes. But I'm out of Spider-Man episodes to edit, so... Now it's a matter of what am I going to do after this series is over. Um... And I have some idea uh, as far as what's next. But the thing with this game is with the the loss of the live commentary um I it's hard for me to kind of talk about what's happening cuz you can see it like <laughs> so you won't get an authentic reaction I was going to finish Arkham City but to Arkham City Arkham Knight but to be fair um I just don't like it like I I really don't want to play it again at least not right now so I probably won't be finishing Arkham Knight yet, if at all. Um, so there's that. So I had some other thoughts, like maybe doing XCOM 2, but I've played XCOM 2 and I'm not very good at it. So my next thought is I want to play a game that I've never played before, that I could do a dry run on, that you guys would get an authentic reaction out of me where I could talk a little bit more about what's going on um, than I do in this game at the moment. Which, there will be some stuff as we get closer to the, uh, the finale here that I'll be talking about. But, and I'll do a review during the long end credits of this game. Um, there are, it, it, like, literally the end credits were like an hour long with the episode that I did. And so I had to speed it up to like four minutes, but I'll do a review in that time. Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? <laughs> Kids got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh. Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. <laughs> you want a taste? Work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. 
Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. S Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. Gotta love Russians. Pick on someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one by size, Hulk. Colossus, Juggernaut, or Hulk. We could just talk it out. Thanos. Rhino, there are plenty of people your size. Anyway, um, so like the DLC for this game is on the itinerary. It will definitely happen. So I don't own it yet, so obviously I haven't played it. So it, it would be, it would be more of this game, but it would definitely be something. Uh, it would definitely be uh, another authentic like commentary for me, as opposed to post com like this is, or post recording like this is. But I don't want to do the DLCs right away, because uh, I just I just finished doing all the stuff and catching up on this series. I want to do something else. And when I do do the DLCs, I want to get back into the game and remember how to play it, so I'll probably end up doing like a new game plus mode leading into playing the DLCs, so I want to give myself time to actually get back into the game and remember how to play it properly. Uh, so, with that being said... I um I have a few ideas. Uh, one of the uh, PlayStation Plus games, uh, which I screwed that part up right there royally. One of the PlayStation Plus games that came out this month was uh, the, the Detroit uh, Become Human. I think that's what it's called, like the official name. I can't quite remember, but it's it's that one like Android game. I'm pretty sure it's called Detroit Become Human. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it, and I've always been curious about playing it, and it was free, so I was like, hey, I want to play this, just to see what it's like, and I figured what better place to play it than on my channel, since I've never played the game before, or any of the Become Human games. Let's wrap this up. Gooey. Never spend an eight-ton to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? <laughs> what were you gonna do if I didn't know? Beg him to keep up? Yes, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! You are in my way! So yeah, I think Detroit Become Human is probably going to be the next game. Um... I considered, because Detroit Become Human is a digital deluxe edition, so it came with Heavy Rain. Uh, there's two issues with Heavy Rain, though. One is that I played it already. Um, it's been a while, but I have played Heavy Rain before. It was actually one of my favorite games of the year that it was released, because I think I got I don't think I got it at release, but I got it the same year it was released, so... Uh, I don't know if I actually bought it, bought it. I think I may have game flight it, which shows how long ago that was. But uh, it was definitely one of my favorite games of that of that year. But um, YouTube has a term has a terms and conditions and you know stuff. And heavy rain wouldn't really. Excuse me, my mouth is really dry. Um, there we go. Heavy Rain, uh, definitely has, uh, a lot of things that would violate the, the terms of use, or terms of service, or terms and conditions, or whatever you want to call it, um, of YouTube. So, especially I love Heavy Rain, and I'm going to play it again. I'd 
I'd have to censor some stuff. And with the tools available to me at this time, I can't really do that. Man, my throat's like really scratchy. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. So, yeah, I, I can't do Heavy Rain. I'm going to play Heavy Rain, but it's not going to be on this channel, unfortunately, just because of the, the things that I can't edit out. Um, like, there is definitely some bad language and nudity and what have you. And I don't, I don't really want to go there. Um, I'm already a little bit concerned with doing Detroit Become Human because, again, I've never played it. And I don't know if there's, like, horror language in it. Which, I don't mind bad language. I use it frequently whenever I'm not on this channel. But, at the same time, like, this is a family friendly channel. So, it takes a lot for me not to use horror language on this channel. Uh, as it is. Especially when I'm playing the game live. So, yeah. I, I don't... I don't know, so... Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak show! Alright, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Hey, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. Of course the only it is. Place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. So wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. I need to get into the security room to unlock it. Mayor Osborne really lives here? There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. The residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. <laughs> she says that right in front of the guard. <laughs> it's funny to me. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Let's not and say we did. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Off limits, ma'am. <laughs> Tell Mary Jim what's off limits. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from a receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Not really. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boy's book. Come on. That's feminist. That should do it. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right now. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. <laughs> that was easy. And look at me missing the objective like a putz. <laughs> <clears throat> Gotta turn him around. 
Five by five control. Area clear. So yeah, there's there's gonna be I, I think Detroit Become Human is gonna be the next game on this channel. It it makes the most sense to me. I wanna do a Skyrim playthrough, but I'm not sure if that's going to be like a um how do I word this? <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's going to be like a uh a regular, like, continuing series. It, it will probably end up being like my Minecraft series is, where it's not the main focus. Um, I haven't actually posted Minecraft in a few days because I was focused on editing and, and finishing this series. And once I... Once I, uh... Start recording Detroit, Become Human, that'll probably be the main thing I record for a while. So... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like I said, I haven't even started recording it yet. I've been so focused on other things, like, um, like since thing. it's like 2.15 in the morning, uh, there's a Gen X event tomorrow, so, like, or today, I guess, um, that will be put up on the channel, as always. Uh, Sable off elevator controls in the security room. Don't tase me, bro. Next to the Sable agent. <laughs> but uh yeah so Mary Jane Watson super spy time to unlock that elevator like as much as I like trying to do more than one series on this channel I'm kind of failing at it and I know that um that did it the Maybe Minecraft series the is unlocked. time to head upstairs in case you're curious and you've been watching the Minecraft series it's um it's a kind of a wall, uh, not because I, I'm like, you know, I can't think of what I want to do next, because I totally do. Uh, it's just a matter of the, the pathway design I was working on for my town didn't turn out the way I wanted it to once I worked on it after I was done recording the last episode. And so I'm going to try and fix it, but finding a way that works might take a while. And I could just be overthinking it, so we'll see. Also, this game portrays Silver Sable as a horrible Norman's spy. Are all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. And this segment right here at the penthouse, which actually doesn't end until next episode, because this episode gets cut off. Spider-Man problem. So weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. This segment is like the only MJ, like real reason I wish I kept my regular commentary or hadn't lost the original commentary. Might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Because I remember this being actually one of the funnier things I recorded. <clears throat> There was there was much yeah. me schematics wit in this, incredible. so. Is it your mm. schematics for a prototype combat mask? Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. I am notorious for interrupting characters mid sentence in this game, apparently. The fabulous Oswald. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to secret keypad behind the family portrait? Norman must like spy movies. Of I need course. to find the code for that keypad. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Yeah, I'm sure it's nothing. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Rich people. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. 
That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Or did he? Bum bum bum. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns. You know, to for for Norman being like a rich mayor with like high security, you'd think he'd have cameras or something. Excuse me, that wouldn't give MJ away in this whole thing. The Osborns have a just saying of and a motto: "Pax and Bello, peace in war." I gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. If you want peace, prepare for war. Harry it's actually one of her quotes. All the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. This segment was really long. I had to cut it down like a lot. Because it was a lot of me. It was just me looking around for all these things. I'm on my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen. I know I don't say this enough, but. Thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. It'd be super awkward if you went into Harry's room and it was like full of pictures of MJ. Like a weird shrine. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. Funny thing is, I don't think that's ever explained. That or I missed it? <laughs> like, what was there? God. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. Carefree? Footloose and fancy free? We all miss those days. We were kids and had no problems. and Our worst situation was not getting what we wanted. Like, you know, the irrelevant stuff we didn't get. And like, I didn't get the candy from the grocery store. I'm mad now. I'm gonna hold it against my parents for the next three hours. I have a toddler, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Foreshadowing. Did Harry ever get tested? Foreshadowing. I can't handle all the foreshadowing in this scene. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to keep this, I actually figured out what happened to Harry during this, uh... This is kind of cute. ...scene. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. Um, like actually, I figured it out way earlier in the playthrough, but... More. Setting your sights higher, Norman? This is when I actually, like, really started talking about it. Like, that was the main discussion I had going through here, was actually what I thought was wrong Harry's with Harry. I he thought he was dead at first. The prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Spoiler: she's not dead. Score. This must be the key for Harry's room. 
Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Aww, Ugh, poor MJ. Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? No, it's just in his room for no reason, MJ. Thought you were an investigative reporter. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. Yeah. Um, I actually originally read this journal entry out loud for the stream. If you want to pause it and read it, you can. Although I'm not sure I give a good enough shot for it. But, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a long read. And me cutting out me reading it word for word was cut like five minutes out of this episode. So. You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Norman looks like a famous actor in this game, and I can't think of who he looks like, and I wonder if he's voiced by that guy, so I'm actually going to look it up real quick. Because I'm professional. Ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. As I'm tasing people in the background. Stay alert. Do, 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 do. You know, a lot of the people in this game, like they made the the characters like resemble them a little bit, um, with a few exceptions. Like Wilson Fisk really doesn't. Peter doesn't really like Gary Lowenthal. Um, but May does look like the chick who voiced her. Same thing with Martin Lee. Uh, I know who... It is the actor I thought it was. It didn't really dawn on me until just now. But he's the guy from the first Rush Hour movie. He played one of the FBI agents. He's the guy who voices... Uh, uh, Norman... I knew I recognized that actor. It's pretty cool. Okay, July 18. Bingo. Wait, did the same actress? Yeah, Super wait. They used the same speedy. picture for two different actresses the location on IMDb for this. Lab. That's actually pretty funny. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movement. Anywho. Creep fest. Mm, kinda makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Nope. That's just a Sable patrol. No. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti serum in a, a records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath lab. Bravo, bravo, bravo. <laughs> Who talks like that? That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. No. Tenthin Cathedral. Isn't that... Not for my time for some more. Plot! 
Club's records department. Thank you, Troy Baker, for that reference. Secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> created Lee. I, I have to get this. And this is how we get Spider Mary Jane. No! Who's there? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. High alert. Yep, that'll be me. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Continuing sector sweep. Man down. Control. Set back up. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't know, I can't remember if the next episode was as long as this one was, but regardless, it's been fun, and uh, yeah, two episodes left guys, this is pretty exciting. So we will see you in the next one.